This is the third year that we've done a greenhouse renovation at Good Housekeeping, and we do it for a couple of reasons, both to give readers and website users ideas that they can take away and inspiration they can use in their own lives and in their own homes, and to show our readership what's really green and what isn't, and what's really healthy and what isn't. Well, the United States Green Building Council, which is a not-for-profit um, organization which is member-based, has programs for building construction and sustainability. And LEAD stands for Leadership in Energy and Environmental Design. One of the programs they have is LEAD for Homes. To build a LEAD certified home, you need to work with a third party rating organization. For instance, for this house we built it with the Stephen Winters group and they are an independent organization that checks your progress throughout the building or remodeling and makes sure that you're doing it in accordance with the LEED guidelines. And the different tiers of certification start at certified, then it goes to silver, gold, and platinum. It's not difficult to become a LEED certified home, um, but you do have to follow steps and you have to make sure within each of these categories that you are building to their level of certification. There's location and linkages, where the house is, what, how close to community resources like the school across the street or grocery stores, public transportation. There's also um, sustainability and sites. How do we address the site before we build on it or once we've built, what is the landscaping like? Water efficiency, energy and atmosphere, which is clearly the biggest category in this program, and that's where we address the thermal envelope of the house, mechanical systems, um, the appliances, the lighting, and uh, indoor environmental quality is another big category in Lead for Homes. We address the indoor quality, fireplaces, for instance, there being no wood-burning fireplaces in this home. There's an education and awareness category, and there's also an innovative design uh, category. Uh, this project scored very well in energy and atmosphere. Um, they worked hard with sustainable sites to make sure whatever plantings they did were drought tolerant. They didn't install any invasive species. Also, uh, water efficiency on the interior and exterior of the house, so the plumbing fixtures. Also, rainwater harvesting off of the roof, bringing the water down into cisterns, and then reusing it for irrigation purposes. So they, they did well right across the board. 